Welcome back Wanderers. In today's video, we're gonna go over tips and tricks to keep your water from freezing while you're camping during the winter. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of today's video, now would be a great time to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notifications bell to get a notification of any time we release a new episode. All right, now let's protect your pipes. Now one of the most surefire ways to keep your pipes from freezing is don't go someplace where it has freezing temperatures. So I know that's easier said than done. Um, a lot of people head south, you know, Southern California, Southwest Florida this time of year to avoid the cold. So another great way to avoid freezing pipes during the winter time is not even hooking up to an external water source at all. So you can use your freshwater tanks even better if you have tank heaters inside of your RV that'll keep things warm enough from freezing or you can skirt your RV and put a heat source underneath. Um, we do have tank heaters in our Airstream which makes it convenient if we don't feel like setting up anything else. Something else you can do is to use a heated water hose. Um, they have electrical heating elements running through the entirety of the hose. Um, the, this is a Pirate 25 foot. It's supposed to keep the, the water from freezing down to negative 20, I believe. Um, we're gonna leave a link below that has all the information on everything that we show you today. Um, so I'm not gonna go too in depth. Um, if you're curious, please check them out. Um, so the only thing I don't like about this, there is no indicator on this particular hose that shows you whether it's working or it's not. So I have put my hand on this hose when it's been below freezing and it has been warm, which I guess that means it has been working and our water hasn't frozen. So um, there are other ones on the market, such as the Camco. Um, those actually do have an indicator light. They are a bit more expensive than the Pirates, but check them out. So even with the heated hose, it doesn't keep the water source from freezing up. So we have a solution to that as well. So we're actually gonna protect this water source with a product called Easy Heat. It's an electrical plug-in heating element, a foam pipe insulator, looks like a pool noodle, and to hold it all together, some good old fashioned electrical tape. So first, we're just gonna measure how much insulation that we need. We're gonna trim the insulation. Next, we're gonna wrap the heating element. The more coverage you have, the better. Now we're gonna take our electrical tape and just tape it all into place. You can really use any kind of tape. I just like electrical tape. I think it sticks to most surfaces really well. Next, we're gonna stick our insulation on. Right, we're gonna also use our electrical tape to tape the in, all the insulation in place. Doesn't have to be fancy. So next we're gonna go over to our power panel, plug in our outdoor extension cord. And I do have this little nifty three-way outdoor adapter so all we have to do is plug in our heating element for the hose and for the insulation around the water source. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found it helpful at all, give us a huge thumbs up. If you have any different suggestions or tips on keeping your RV from becoming a popsicle during the winter time, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Um, if you're interested at all in any of the products that we use today, we do have affiliate links below. It helps support our channel and helps us keep making these videos for you. All right, Wanderers, that's going to do it for now. And until next time, stay wonderful.